Happy Wednesday, Potassium, and also Happy Pride Day. Um, to show my basis pride, I have the basis black t-shirt on. I hope you guys are wearing a basis pride shirt or a blue shirt, um, and I hope to see some pictures soon. So today, I want, you know how much Miss um, Kavita likes to decorate our classroom, right? So I thought I will do a video of um, some crafts we can do. So to do that, I chose some spring stuff and uh, what we will be making is a 3D X and also a peekaboo um, chicken. I will show that later, but let's um, talk about this eggs first. So as you can see, it's 3D. Now let's talk about what's the difference between 3D and 2D. So we, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we have a paper, let me put this so you can see a little bit better. Um, so we have 2D, what is 2D? How do we know it's a 2D? When we have 2D, when we look at this paper, what kind of shape is this? It's right, rectangle, right? So we can see from side to side and top to bottom. So that's one and two. So that's a 2D. Now let's look at the 3D. Let's look at this crayon box. So we can see all around. It's still a rectangle, but we can see it all around. So now let's look at it. So it still has a side to side top to bottom, but it also have back and forth, back, back and forth. So it has side to side, top to bottom, and back and forth. So that makes it 3D. Now let's talk about a oval shape. Now this as a paper oval and it's flat. I can kind of clap it, right? So that makes it a 2D. It's flat and you can clap it. Now, when I take my egg, 3D egg, now it kind of spins around. But what happens if I try to clap it? What's gonna happen to it? Yeah, it's gonna be flat. We don't want it flat, we want it rolling around. So that's why it's 3D. Now let's see how to make a 3D egg. So there's a couple of options we can do. I'm going to send your parents some a link where you can already have a couple of templates that has different shapes, um, uh, oh, um, egg shapes that already have some designs, or you can make your own design. I actually chose this and I colored, but if you are making your own, you can have maybe some construction paper. I have one, two, three construction paper there. You, you have to have it all the same size, same size. So. If you guys remember when we made our hearts um, for Valentine's Day, we fold it into half and then we drew a half of a heart, remember, to make our heart. So just like that, for this one, you can just do oval shape. So I don't have a pencil right with me, but I will use a crayon instead. Okay, I'm gonna make a half of a oval, just like that. It's kind of hard to see. And then all together at the same time, so we can have the same size and shape, we're going to cut, cut, Cut. Uh, 
And then, oops, that didn't quite turn. So if it doesn't make an oval shape, you just go back and fix that. Just a little bit by cutting. And there's sure eggs. And then you can decorate it and then you can put it together. Now let's talk about how to put this together. So I'm gonna use the ones I already colored from the template. So I have three pieces. You can have six pieces, four pieces. It's up to you how many pieces you want to make. I uh, For this one, I had three pieces. So I'm gonna do the three pieces. I'm gonna show you the three piece. So again, we have to put it all together, put it together, and then we're going to make a line of symmetry. So remember, line of symmetry is right in the middle, right? So we'll bring this end to the other end as close as you can so it will be nice and straight. Fold it. And now we have a line of symmetry right there. Okay, now it's time to glue it together. Now to glue it, we need to make sure we have one piece. Get your glue stick. Let's put glue on one side, only one side, not the whole paper, just the one side. So I have glue on this side, but not on this side. Now take another piece. Make sure it's the side that's not colored. Put that side by side to the one you already glued. And kind of put that together. Now we still have the other side that's open. Do not do anything there. We're going to do, if you want to make it like me, with the string, we have to get the string at this time before we glue the other part. So I'm going to get a pink string, cut, I'm going to tie the bottom, so I can put a bead to make it more fun. Let's see. I think I'm going to choose a green for this one. Green. All right, there it goes. So now I have to make sure that goes right in the middle. There. Before we put the next part. All right, now we have the third piece. You're going to put glue on both sides for this last one. Okay, so both sides. Now we're going to put that together. Pick it up and adjust a little bit and voila, there is your 3D egg. All right, now moving on to our next one, it's a Peekaboo chicken. So I'm going to send your parents another template for this too. So we have an egg here and it says white. And then this one is the body or the head for the chicken. And it says yellow and then a little beak. A little beak. That says orange. So let's create that. I actually printed it in a brown paper. So it'll be the brown eggs. And I decorated the egg part. And I already have my head colored with the yellow and my little beak. It's probably hard to see. Yeah. Now we're going to put that together. First, you're going. First thing you're going to do is pick up the bottom part. So there's this top and there's the bottom. The bottom part, put it down 
facing down. And then you're going to get the head and put glue just on the bottom part only, just the bottom. And go ahead and glue that onto the back side, not the front side, back side, just like that. And then we are going to put googly eyes for the eye. Googly eyes. And last part would be the beak. Okay. So now we have the eyes and the beak all done. Now for this last part, we have to put the top and somehow try to make it do a peekaboo, right? Like that. So, since I have some um, pipe cleaners, I'm going to use that instead because I do not have the brads to um, put it. Um, so, I chose this. So, you can take a small piece and then gonna put it together and ask your parents to help you with this part to make a hole. All right, and then kind of twist it. To make that go back and forth. So mine is a little tight, so I have to loosen it up just a little bit. So it would do the peekaboo. If I had a brad, it would work so much better, but I don't. So that's why I chose to do that. Now you can see peekaboo. And here we go. So we have our peekaboo chicken and our 3D eggs. I hope you guys like it and you try to make it. And if you do make it and want to send us a picture, we would really like to see it. And then I'm going to actually decorate this room. I think I'm going to put these together. And next week, probably, uh, we'll do some um, flowers or something like that. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you guys soon. Bye.